Hybin put together a run of three. 869s at 328. 46 miles per hour in his Dodge Direct Connection Charger SRT Hellcat, moving into the number one spot and putting him in line for his second top qualifier of the season and 51st in his career. Hagen, Bob Tasker 3 and Robert Height entered the weekend separated by just 17 points as Hagen seeks his fourth career world title and the first for Tony Stewart Racing. Paul Lee took the second spot with a run of three. 875s at 322. 58 miles per hour and Tasker is currently third thanks to his run of three. 880s at 336. 99 miles per hour, Height is fourth with a three. 898. Come and get it. 386, Matt Hagen, 300. 28 miles an hour, and he takes Mopar to the top. In top fuel, Steve Torrance opened up what he hopes is a championship-winning weekend with a spectacular start, going three. 641s at 335. 65 miles per hour in his Capco Contractor's Toyota Dragster. Should that hold, the four-time world champion would earn his fourth number one qualifier of the season and the 38th in his career. More importantly, it's a great way to kick off the weekend in what could be an incredible finish in the category. Torrance, Doug Kalitta and Leah Prude are all within striking distance of each other heading into the weekend and each delivered standout runs during the second qualifying session under the lights. But it was Torrance who delivered the biggest, something he hopes is the sign for the rest of the weekend. Kalitta is currently in second with a three. 671s at 336. 99 miles per hour and Prude's three. 676 at 332. 84 miles per hour puts her third. Three point six four one. 335 miles an hour. Steve O goes to the top. Looking to stay alive in the championship hunt, Pro Stock's Greg Anderson made a stellar run to close out Friday, going 6. 495s at 211. 69 miles per hour in his Hendrick cars. Com Chevrolet Camaro. He entered the weekend trailing Erica Enders by 114 points, but closed the gap a little with two strong runs to open qualifying. Enders can still clinch the title on Saturday if she gains seven or more qualifying points than Anderson. If not, the championship would be decided the next day and Anderson hopes he can stay in the mix for at least a couple more days as both standouts race for their sixth world championship. Troy Coughlin 6. 500s at 210. One mile per hour puts him in the second spot, while Enders moved to third in the final session after going six. 500s at 210. 31 miles per hour. Trying to do it again. They were one and two last year. They are currently three and four on the qualified sheet. They're currently one and two in the points as we roll in here. To in and out Pomona drag strip. Eric is drifting over towards the wall a little bit down there. 649. Greg Anderson goes to the top. Gage Herrera will clinch his first Pro Stock Motorcycle World Championship on Saturday and enjoyed a strong Friday as well in Pomona, going to the provisional number one spot on his Mission Foods Advance and Hind Suzuki with a run of six. 721s at 200. 59 miles per hour. Should that hold, Herrera would extend his PSM single season record with his 14th top spot in 15 races, one of the many examples of his dominance in 2023. Herrera will wrap up his world title at the conclusion of qualifying on Saturday on the strength of 10 wins during his record-setting season. Hector Arana Jr. is currently in the second spot after going 6. 729s at 201. 28 miles per hour and Eddie Kraviak, who is seeking his 50th career win, is third thanks to a 6. 742s at 201. 52 miles per hour.
Gage Herrera, 104 to 60 feet. And this time it does run all the way to the stripe. 672, 200 miles an hour, and Gage Herrera goes to the top. 